All right, we got a full day, eight hour trip today. Just got out of the harbor, 620 right now. It's beautiful out here today. South winds here, but real light, 10, 10 knots or less. So it looks beautiful. Sun will be coming up here in the next 25 minutes or so, but yeah, still some fish hanging around. We went out yesterday. I didn't have the GoPro out all day, but we got a Mai Mai in the morning, 20 pounder, some Akus, we caught a Ono and uh, ended up getting a 500 pound blue. So still some nice size marlin hanging around. That Ono was, that was the first Ono I've caught in a long time and more my eyes showing up. So yeah, we'll get out kind of same area today. Go look for bird piles and uh, get in the binoculars. Once the sun comes up, go see what we can find. right now but buddy's right next to us i think there's a piece of rubbish in here he said it's a tree so we i haven't got eyes on it yet keep my eyes open but pretty sure he's hooked up to some volume eyes right now so we'll see what happens all right well, we've been making some passes on that buddy's in here baiting we're kind of giving him a space but taking wide passes we got a my my on here came in grab the umbrella malolo yeah pull them both in go quick keep that line nice and tight okay Okay, get ready to, uh, I think it might be, might be an Ono. I think it's an Ono. Yeah, just get another. Take your time. That's an Ono. Perfect. All right, well, I thought it was a Mai Mai at first, but it ended up being an Ono. A 20 pounder came and grabbed that seven inch Corella Malola on the short rigger. Get lines back out and keep working this area here. I don't know how good this piece of rubbish is or not. There's definitely Mai Mai's, obviously some Ono's on it too. So we'll go right back to there. We just missed a Mai Mai, now we got a Mai Mai on. So just a small one, came in, grabbed the seven inch Tanigawa first and then five inch chrome flash to go on the center. Get a gaff out. Yeah, it's an Ono. And close your door. And I'll pass that to you and I'll go back up and turn around. Nice going there. Awesome. Hawaiian Malolo bird. Beauty. Well, I thought that was a my my, but it's an Ono. Just a small one, little 10 pounder. Oh, that's not biting good, buddy said. He's got live bait and they're not even eating live bait. So we'll make a few more passes and then we'll move on here. All right, another one on here. Short rigger bite, Corella Malolo. Now this one is a Mai Mai. We'll get ready for the door. We'll slide this one in. So move your Ono to the other corner. Coming down. Yeah. Yeah, real pretty, pretty good size too. All right, decent Mai Mai there, 12, 15 pounds. Go right back to you there. Nice, nice. Well, we're gonna leave that there. We got the two Onos, one Mai Mai off of that. It kind of stopped biting, took a bunch more passes on it and there's pilot whales all around it now, which have kind of shut it down. So keep moving from here, head a little Southwest, 9.30 right now. So we got an hour or two, keep heading out into deeper water and then we'll start making our way back for home. All right, well, we've been fishing some Aku Pals and uh, this is the third one we've been fishing, making passes on them. They're not biting good at all, but we finally got one on here, a little feather on the 50 up here. This guy's right there. Alright guys, nice going. 13. Let's get out to the buoy here, so 
saw one Mai Mai there. He didn't eat trolling lure, so we'll reel everything in and we'll go bait it, see if he'll eat bait. Oh, he's on it. He's gonna eat it. He's got it. Oh, he spit it. Come back to it. Yeah, he had it, but he dropped it. So that first one dropped it for some reason. We'll take another pass, see if we can get him. Okay, that is the small rod, so. Okay, get that in then I'm gonna go back. 50, 50. 50. Yep. Here we go. Reel that rigger, reel that rigger as I go. Are you doing okay? Keep that line tight. Here, let's, you want me to reel that one while you help him? No, he, he'll get it. Okay. Leave that hanging, we're good. Are you okay? Yep. No, we're all good. We got him slowed down. Move that uh, short corner immediately. Okay. Yeah, thank you. If you just hold that, he'll unclip that. 250 probably. Okay. We're going to release it. All right, Marlon Lani came in and grabbed the five inch flashy boo on the center. We got him on an 80. He looks about 250, maybe a little bit bigger, jumping all over the place. But we got everything and we got him slowed him down. We're backing down to him. That's got the Hawaiian Malolo bird on it too. About five minutes in here, we got him back about 150 yards. We're gonna keep going back to him. And then with your legs, you come out nice and smooth. We are lucky enough to get this fish up. We will release it here. We still got about 150 yards to go here. We're backing down. We're gonna try to get him up nice and fresh and healthy so we can release him safely. But we got a ways to go. He's a pretty nice sized fish. Had that Mai Mai at the buoy, but he never came back and bit. So we left, fished a couple of Aku piles, and then started heading towards home. So 13 miles, we got that bite. Yeah, exactly. You gotta reel that slide in. It's pulling hard right now. Yeah, there's about uh, probably 100 yards right now. Okay. All right, we're about 10 minutes in, got him. Still about 100 yards back. Fish is down deep right now, pulling pretty hard. Got center distance back on the reel, so that was about 70 yards, and we've got him at about 50 yards right now. It started to come up a little. We were able to get some line got him coming up here. Yeah, we're at about 40 yards. Turn your chair, please. 30 minutes in, we've had deep collar a couple times. He's dogging us right below the boat. Boy, this fish is this fish is wild. What's up, Kraken? Yeah, he's not turquoise anymore. Good job. Okay, get him out of the chair. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna release him, all right? See him? 
There he goes! Woo! Congratulations. Good job. All right, we got him there. Nice fish. We fought that guy for probably almost an hour, but uh, <clears throat> he was dogging us real hard. We had him back behind the boat for a half hour, had about 10 yards. He was just swimming back and forth. I kept having to turn the boat, straighten him out, but nice fish. I'm guessing that one was about 400. So we did want to release and that hook was buried in there and they're pretty good. I just cut that line just to be safe. That way we could get him on his way. Not ideal to send him out with a hook, but he'll be, he'll be just fine. It came up pretty tired, but swam off good so that fish will be all good nice healthy release on him pretty awesome so that was on an 80 we had that five inch chrome flashy boo and a hawaiian malolo bird in front there so awesome marlin action's been pretty crazy that's the same setup we had that 800 uh, not too long ago so they're liking that thing but get lines back out here and uh keep pointing for home it's one o'clock right now it'll be a little late all right well no more bikes after that Marlin there. We're at three miles. We're going to start clearing lines and head into the harbor here. But yeah, it ended up being a pretty awesome day. We had those two Onos. There's not been a lot of Onos around. We caught our first one of the year yesterday. So two Onos there. A Mai Mai off of that rubbish. Uh, one Aku. Aku's didn't bite good, but we got one. We'll take it. Ended up with that, with that Marlin there. So pretty cool. We'll get into the harbor here and we'll get those fish cut up. I actually already threw his stomach away. It looked pretty darn empty. We have an international chef this week. My son says it's always tricky to get the bones. These Onos just have soft bones, so you gotta be careful not to cut, cut through into the other side. No blood in the meat there. Real nice color. Yeah, that turned out great. So if you bleed them out right, then that's what you get is the- Yeah, see how there's very little blood on the table at all? If you didn't yeah. bleed that fish, this would be a mess right here. Well, even fish you buy at the store sometimes has a fair amount of- I would do it. I do have this distinction, Will, of catching... Well, no, no, I'll definitely... Yeah. I'll definitely... Four boys and two sons in the lot. Oh, you just yep, these ones are different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, they're just the Marlins, the questionable ones. Oh, there's nothing questionable out at all. Nope, this one I can go around them. Oh, the yeah. eggs. Oh, that's egg? Well, why'd you throw away that? Oh, that was bones. Okay. Yeah. Some of that Ono here that we caught. 
gonna get some of this ready to eat like a lot of people i definitely prefer to eat on a raw it's good raw or cooked but just gonna do real simple with this but basically i'm gonna slice it up into sashimi pieces lay it all out on a plate pour ponzu over top of it and then do the same thing with some soy sauce and then put a little bit of chili oil drizzle that on top of it too so that's just super simple sashimi style that ono is real mild and it's really good like that 